Hello, I'm Tracy Grimshaw. Welcome to A Current Affair. We begin tonight with an amazing story of survival. A young man just seconds from disaster as he fell off a rail platform and was run over by a train. Reporter Erin Willing joins us live and Erin, you showed this teenager the video of his lucky escape. That's right, Tracy. 19-year-old Tim Whitaker had just arrived at his local train station. He was there to help his housemate carry groceries home when he suffered a seizure. One minute he was using his iPhone, the next minute he was out cold. He says the first thing he remembers was waking up underneath the train where he was trapped for around an hour. But exactly what happened that night really has to be seen to be believed. I could be dead. I have no words for what I'm seeing. None. Mind blowing. Centimeters from disaster. My first memory of being conscious was putting my hands straight up, touching the bottom of the train. This is the terrifying moment Tim Whitaker cheated death. Tonight, we reveal just how close the 19 year old came to losing his life. I got a bit of a lump in my throat. So I'm a bit scared to actually watch this myself. It was just before 6.30 at night when Tim arrived at the station waiting for his flatmate. I remember sitting down and playing with my phone. Moments later, he's on the ground, the teenager's body convulsing as he goes into an epileptic fit. Bit by bit, his body inches towards the edge of the platform. Within seconds, Tim tumbles onto the tracks. Unconscious, he begins to twitch as the train quickly approaches. The train driver sees Tim and hits the brakes, but it's too late. Three carriages travel right over the top of him. I remember looking at him going, what's that? Like, as in what was above me and being answered, that's a train. And... Tim laid trapped for more than an hour as a team of rescuers worked to free him. His seizure was caused by epilepsy, which he has suffered from for the last five years. I, my attitude towards my medication is not as good as it should be. And, and when I got hit by the train, I wasn't taking it. As Tim lay wedged between the platform and the track, above him, rescuers work frantically to get him out. I'm lucky to be alive just from the seizure alone. My heart had been very likely to stop after a certain amount of time. Among those was emergency nurse Matt Trudgett, a passenger who was on his way to work. When I climbed down between the train and the platform, I, um, when I did my first assessment, I was, uh, was surprised to see that he didn't have any life-threatening injuries. Matt told A Current Affair he stayed with Tim until rescuers and paramedics arrived. Do you remember any of this? None of it. Not a single bit of it. How do you feel now, looking at that and knowing that you're underneath that train? I've always felt lucky about it. With the size of how big I, how tall I really am, it's just, I'm kind of lucky to fit in that gap. While Tim lay injured, drifting in and out of consciousness, Constable David Graham was squeezing his way under the train. As I turned up, um, I basically chucked my helmet on, uh, crawled between the, the train and the platform, um, got on my belly and started crawling up along the coals. Not only was Tim alive, but amazingly, he had only minor injuries. I sustained quite a massive lump in my knee that lasted for probably four months. Uh, a cut in my leg that, well, was more like a gouge in my leg, that lasted probably, like, it, it, did, it took quite a long time to heal. So it's not 100%, you know, healed yet. And a little scar on the side of my face just here where you know, it was quite deep as well. It took, I think, three or four stitches that night to get fixed up. Now seven months on, Tim regularly returns to the station, but admits at times it isn't easy. I'm always a bit more cautious there. Like, I, like in my mind, I'm like always like a bit more scared. But like, well, actually, the day I came back after being at the hospital, the, day, the way I found out exactly where I was is when I looked down, there was a blood stain on the actual one of these con concrete pillars. <laughs> While the scars may never disappear, Tim says he knows just how close he came to being hit. Yeah, I'm very lucky. <laughs> very, very lucky. 